But not a boat. Not a not a damn net. We'll find out. Oh, oh, we got one, got one, got one. Got one. Not today, buddy. Not today, buddy. It's a beautiful morning. Yo, what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nell Roy, and welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips. We'll be back for the vlog, y'all. Check it. Man, we got a special episode for you today. Because today I'm doing my favorite new thing, and that's called Blue Crabbing. Now, I came to this spot before. Hold on, let me. Wait, wait, one second. There you go. So, I came to this spot before. Um, it's a little different. A little different than the last time I came because the water level is about four feet higher. Um, I don't remember rain in Texas in the last two years. So I'm not sure where all this water came from, but we'll see. So what I can do is still try to make it work. Um, we'll see if these higher levels will bring the crabs in. If not, um, we're going to have to be eating McDonald's instead of a crab ball. This could be a catch, clean, and cook McDonald's edition. I don't know, but I think I can do it. I'm confident I can do it. Let go. Yeah. All right, y'all. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and get our nets ready together. Today, I'll be using six drop double ring nets. Um, yeah, man. So if you've been watching my channel, there's been a whole evolution of crabbing. This might be the, I think the fifth or sixth crabbing video on my channel. <laughs> I think the first three resulted in no crabs. Um, the next two after that, one crab. The fifth one was two crabs. My last video though, my last video, I ended up with 14 crabs. I'm learning, right? I continue to evolve. Um, better my equipment, better things for adjustments, better my strategy, and it's been working today, man. Um, what I'll be using today is legs, drumsticks. I did like um, thighs, I did whole quarters, but I find drumsticks to be working the best. Another thing that I also do is I tear the skin off the drumstick. Let them get, get to the actual meat. Now these drumsticks, <laughs> um, they expired about a week ago. They have a like, nice potent smell to it <laughs> nice potent smell to it so that's another thing i've been changing so we're gonna go ahead and strap this down so yeah we'll see if the smelly drumsticks can produce like i said i am worried about the water levels but we'll see man i'm gonna play with it so yeah that's it this one drumstick smelly drumstick We'll strap it to the post over here, get all six. Um, along with that, I'm also going to be uh, freelining. Now, also, I've evolved my freelining equipment. Because first, you know, when I bought it, it came with this, like, you know, this string and, like, a little clip, right? The string is all, like, flimsy. It's hard to maneuver. I don't like it. So what I did was modification. Went to Amazon and bought kite holders, right? kite holders and I took off the clip that I bought from Amazon for my cram holders because you'll just stick this in the chicken has a little weight along with the kite holder y'all see where I'm going with this yeah so I can freeline my shrimp oh, I'm sorry my crab legs properly I wonder what crabs eat shrimp because I know when I fish they do so yeah we're gonna have these going too I got three of these so we'll have six traps nets and we'll freeline if I have time three free lines like I said, I'm involving. The goal today, man, the goal today is to beat my record of 14 crabs that I had last time. I'm gonna have a nice crab boil for the family tonight. Um, I'll try to do a catch and cook if I am able to accomplish my goal. So we got a bit 14 today. So let's go ahead and start dropping these traps in this very hot water and hope we can get something, not get skunk. Let go. All right, bird, don't crap on me. All right, y'all, let's get the party started. In addition to some new gear, I was using my fishing gloves, but those aren't waterproof. The fingertips are exposed. I was reaching for my crab nets and these pilliards getting splinters. So we upgraded waterproof. Like I say, man, you gotta work smart, not hard, man. So we're gonna take that route. Let's go and start dropping our pods. Keep calling them pods, our nets. <clears throat> Whoa, whoa. Another thing I definitely advise is mud boots. Definitely mud boots. We'll skip every other pylon. 
I want to keep it close, but not too close. Like I say, once again, water is hella deep in comparison to what it normally is. So we don't gotta do nothing too crazy. Now, last time um, I checked my pods in 30 minute increments, but I think that's just entirely too long. So I wanna just try to test it out as far as how often I check my pods. Excuse me, y'all. It's getting cooler in Texas, but cooler in Texas for the fall means instead of 100 degrees, it's 90 degrees at like 7.30 in the morning. So yeah, um, instead of 30 minute increments, I'm gonna check them like in 10 and just kind of play it by ear from there. We'll check it in 10. Yeah, this water is a lot deeper than last time. I don't know if that's good or bad. I know one thing, I know that if this area sees rain, it's definitely flooding, like big time. I know there's a full moon, but even with the full moon, I don't know. Got my chicken wrapped up a little bit here. You in the middle, buddy. Even with the full moon, I'm not sure why the water level is super high. I know, you know what? There was a storm over the past couple of days, but that was like a few days ago. This area just must flood really bad. I do got my rod, but. I got my rod just in case, you know, just in case a school of bull reds just come through the, the bayou for some odd reason, I'll be ready. I don't think it's gonna happen, but you know, you gotta be like G.I. Joe, prepare for everything. And also another reason I got my rod, just in case one of my nets gets away from me, I can just hook it, snag it back in. This guy over here at the bridge, he's, um. He's just hand lining. It's funny how <laughs> I'm out here with these fancy nets, igloo, gloves, waterproof this, cameras, and other people, locals. He's just out here in some shorts, barefooted, with a piece of yarn and one net and one bucket. Gotta love it, man, gotta respect it. Gotta respect it. Okay, one more here. There you go. I do get a lot of luck on like hand lines, even though hand line is a lot harder by all means. There we go. So we'll see. Yeah, hand line it takes a lot more skill. If you do it by yourself specifically, you know what I'm saying? If you have a partner, it's a lot easier. A lot easier. Okay, get my string here. Put one more. And I'm a hand line like in between these other ones I'm tossing out. Got people already got screws in the pillars, which is good. Y'all see this right here? Can tie your hand lines to these. I brought some screws just in case, but apparently people have already been doing it. it Would be nice if they take off their old line. Some more trash around here. I'm gonna pick up too. Come on, y'all. Let's keep Texas beautiful. What I say? Don't mess with Texas, or you get shot. Ugh. All right, y'all. So I have my six nets. <laughs> really. Really? That's what we're doing? Anyway, I have my six next drop. It's currently 7.30. Um, we'll check them in 10 minute increments and see what happens. Um, I'm gonna get my hand lines out as well. 
I'm gonna explore this other area, kind of show y'all how flooded this area is. I don't know, man. I think they said like high tide is really good for crabbing, but this is ridiculous. So we'll see, we'll see. Let me get my hand lines out, put those out. We'll have all nine traps ready to go and see can we big 14. Time ticker, now. I said, ugh, gross. The flies are attracted to the smelly chicken. I think that's a good sign. I need poles with, poles with screws on them. And this will work here. It's deep, so. That'll work. Let's wrap it around here. This handy dandy bolt. Drop the rest there. You see that, man? We've been productive, y'all. Productive. <clears throat> Another thing is dealing with a bunch of raw old chicken. I even have my gloves start bringing water with me, too. I wonder if there are gators in here. Well, I guess we'll find out. I guess we shall find out. All right, now I can't wrap the thing in there with the chicken. There you go. All right, so once again, the kite thing, just clip it. Simple. If y'all remind me in the comments, I'll put the link in the description of where I bought these kites from on Amazon. All right, so the thing with the free line is, you know you have something if your line starts tensing up and moving out. Let's see, man. Two more minutes, we'll check our first trap and we'll see how productive it's gonna be. If we have a, if we have a crab on the first round after 10 minutes, we're gonna have a good day. Yeah. All right, 10 minutes, let's check the first traps. We'll see, man. This, this will probably determine how my day is gonna be. So get my time, 7.40. All right, y'all, let's see. Here we go. Oh, oh, rocks, rocks. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Got one. Got a good one. Oh, my God. Got a small one there. We had a rider. Bro, this is a nice crab. But it was almost at the net. Got him. Got him. Keeper. There we go, y'all. First pull of the day. A beautiful huge crab might be my pb male i know it's legal but let's get a measurement on it uh, yes yeah this bad boy is probably almost it might be six and six and a half to seven inches male Six and a half and seven inches. First pull, he almost got out. One down. What, I gotta beat 14? 14 more to go? All right. Check our free line. This one, it looks like it's moving. It does look like it's moving. Either that's a stick or a crab. Either there's a stick. Oh, yeah, it's definitely something on there. Definitely something on there, y'all. I can see it, but can it see me? Oh, that's the creeper. Got it. Got it. You. Yeah. yeah. Nice keeper, bro. Nice keeper, bro. Hold on. Let go, let go, let go. There we go. There we go. All right, y'all. This is almost a six and a half, seven. The, boy, these crabs are big today. I can't believe I got it on the free line. Let's put it in the cooler and get another one. All right, this one don't have like, a lot of tension on it. Oh, 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 it does, it does. Okay, something on here, y'all. Definitely something on here. 
feels nice. Feels nice. Oh, careful right now. Don't let go. Don't let go. <clears throat> Got it. Got it. Oh, they turned that chicken up. I love this crab gauge. Makes things so much simpler. Yep. Another keeper, y'all. Let's put it in a bucket. All right, we're good. Oh man, it's so hot. All right, y'all. So, all right, y'all. So, um, first round was ten minutes. I had one keeper on the net. Um, two keepers on the free line. The free line seems to trap crabs faster for some reason. I don't know why. So I'm thinking maybe I need to do check my net in 15 minute increments. Let me see, it's 40, 45, 50. All right, it's been about 10 minutes since I checked my nets again. And um, I'm gonna try it again in 10 minutes. If 10 minutes it doesn't work, I'm gonna go ahead and try 15 minutes and just keep pushing out in five minute increments and see what I can do because if 10 minutes is too soon, sorry, I'm sweating. If 10 minutes is too soon, we'll try 15, 20, 25, and 30 at the max. I'm looking at my free line over here. Check this out, man. I think something's already messing with it. Hold on, y'all. We got interrupted by somebody about to get eight. Oh, yeah, there's something on here already, y'all. Oh, yeah, definitely something on here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's pulling. It is mad, y'all. It is so mad and it's big. It is huge. It is huge. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Got away. That was a nice one. The Asian dude's over there laughing at me. It's all good. Yeah, this side is just as deep. There's a whole little pier right here. Can't even see it. I know there were people over here like freelining and they were killing it. So I think the ones I have on the far right, I wanna bring some over here. Let's see how that does. Must a mullet. I know that area probably be good for freelining, but I got waders, but I ain't getting in this water. I don't know if there's any gators out here or nothing. We'll relocate two of the traps. Two of the traps over here. Yeah, one here and one there. Yeah, let's go check it out. Let's relocate a couple of traps over here on this side, the pier side. Let's see if we have any better luck. Gross. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start checking these free line. <laughs> See the crab nets, maybe like every 15 minutes. But these free line, man, they turn my bait up. That's gotta be like every 10 to five minutes, honestly. But got another one. Got another one. Got another one. A little bit higher. go two for one baby two for one baby <sighs> what <sighs> bro okay <sighs> I love the drop nets right easy convenient quick but look it has a little female with it we'll let her go a male coming home though. Let me let y'all check it out. Tree line is producing, y'all. Yeah, look at that one. Nice. Big male. Holy smokes. Look at that, y'all. That is a beautiful crab. Unreal, right? Nice, bro. 
Gonna have some meat on that bad boy. Freeline is absolutely killing it, man. All right, bet. This is probably PB, but you know, just for show. We do the measurement. She's probably like five. It's almost a seven. Probably a seven incher. Let's put her in, in the cooler. Keep checking our crabs. All right, y'all. I moved another one of my nets over there because nothing's happened over here. This one looks like it has another one. Yep, it does. Definitely does. I got too excited. That's my fault. Got too excited. Calm down. Act like you've been in an end zone before. Act like you've been here before. Come on right now. Patience, baby. Patience. Act like you've been here before. Put it back in. Get it back. I gotta be more slow, man. I gotta take my time. I get excited and... Nah, bro, just relax for now. You are smarter than these damn crabs. Period. Slow it down. Slow it down. Yeah, what I'm learning on this trip is that freelining is gonna have to be my main source of catching crabs and my nets are gonna be secondary. All right, there's something on here. Take your time right now. Do not rush it, baby. Don't rush it. He's not going nowhere. He's not going nowhere. He's not going nowhere. Take your time, baby. Take your time. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do, baby. Take your time. I don't know about this boat ramp, y'all. <laughs> so I look super sketch. I think this would be a great place to free line, but not boat, not a, not a damn net. We'll find out. Oh, oh, we got one, got one, got one, got one. Not today, buddy. Not today, buddy. Not today, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Boat ramp. He almost got away. <sighs> Boy, y'all see that? It's just not, not a female. Male. Keeper. Boat ramp. Let's go. See, this is why I told you. Bring your bucket. <laughs> Bring your bucket, baby. Nice, muddy. Bet. I might have to make, bring some more over here. Let's get a gauge on it. Oh, this is solid. Solid, baby. Whoa, watch your balls right now. Watch your balls on me. Oh, yeah. He probably six and a half. Like a six and a half keeper. I'm gonna toss this net back in. I might have to relocate over here. Let's go. Let's go, baby. I just dropped this boat ramp one. I wasn't filming, but fell in the hole. <laughs> fell in the hole. <gasps> wow. Let's go. Keeper. Keeper, let's go. Keeper, let's go. Keeper, let's go. Keeper, let's go on the boat ramp. Let's go, y'all. Mel, all muddy browns. We're gonna have some meat in it. All right. We're about to relocate to this damn boat ramp. I'm about to line them up on a boat ramp. Just gotta watch some holes so I don't lose my life. 
come on. Did it let go? Why is this line so long? Check out crab pot. It feels like something in it. Whoa! Oh my god! What? Yeah. We have the biggest mullet I have ever freaking seen. Oh my god. Bro, this one got some tension on it. Oh yeah, that's something on that one. Yeah, that's something on that one. 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 Come on. Hold your neck now. Easy. 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 Got it. What? Wow. Solid. Solid, y'all. Solid. Look at that. Nice one. Bet. All right, y'all. Another keeper. Look at it. Nice muddy and brown. Let's get a measurement on it. Oh yeah, that's solid, bro. That's probably six inches. Six inch keeper right there. I'm almost out of chicken. The free lines. The free lines are killing it, man. Free lines are absolutely killing it. I'm at the Boston Wardam free lines. Let's put it in the bucket. Let's go. Let's go. Boy, I was just about to replace this chicken too. And a monster took it. Yes. Yes. All right, let's throw him in the bucket. There we go. Another male, get gauge on it, and it's, well that's probably the biggest one of the day. This is almost six, seven inches. That's a nice, nice crab, y'all. Ooh, ooh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one, That's a nice one, on the reach baby we got on that uh. the boy did the Jordan what crabbing is muddy male oh he almost got away almost got away let's get a measurement on him solid solid oh yeah like five and a half and cooler she goes all right y'all time Time is of the essence. Time is of the essence. Time is of the essence. My battery's about to die. I'm almost out of chicken. I need one more damn crab. There's one more crab, man. I got I mean, like three chicken left. There's one. Is it? One. I can go home. I can go home and eat. Before I eat, I can go home and take a shower. Get in my air conditioner. Just one more, man. Just one more right now. So I'm asking myself, like, how long are you willing to sit out here until you hit your goal? The answer is forever. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving here until I hit my goal. If I have to stay here for another eight hours, catch one damn crab, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh my God. Let's get it done, man. Let's get it done. I don't wanna be out here at night. I'm pretty sure there's alligators out here. One more. 
let's go. One more. One more, one more. Oh, it feels heavy. Yes. Ah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Looks like we got two. We might have two keepers. We might have two keepers, y'all. This is 100% a keeper. Oh, man. Almost six inches. Five and three quarter. It's number 15. It's number 15, y'all. <laughs> that is a new record for me. Number 15. Let's go. But wait. There's more. Let's go. Another keeper. 16 does it, baby. Said out to my homeboy, Travis, AKA Real Estate Mindset. He told me, come out here and catch 16 today. My goal was 15, but I did 16 for you, Travis. Let's go. Oh my God, I can't believe that. Let's freaking go. Boy, that is a beast. Like seven inches right here, bro. 16, 16. We can go. Now I said. All right, y'all. Go with Matt, baby. Go today with beat 14. We got 16 in the bucket. 16 in the bucket, baby. 16 in the bucket, baby. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go, y'all. 16 in the bucket. Some nice crabs. What she doing? Watch, watch out. Don't be tacking. Don't do it. No, no, don't do it. Don't do it, baby boy. Don't do it. All right, y'all. Let me go ahead and act like I'm about to go home. Let me act like I'm about to go home. I'm tired, but I want to do something different with this catch and cook. The last time I just threw them in their hole. This time I want to actually clean them before I cook them. That means that I'm going to have to dispatch them while they're alive. Should be pretty entertaining. I don't think you want to click off the video right now. I don't think you want to click off the video right now. So back to the crib, man. I need to get my other traps. If I happen to get some more crabs, I'll be back. If not, I'll see y'all in the kitchen. Yeah. All right, y'all back at home. Let's check on our crabs, man. I want to make sure they're still alive, which is super important before I put them to sleep. So let's check, see how they're doing. How y'all doing? Y'all alive? Whoa, whoa, okay. Yep, oh, 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 okay, 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 baby. Okay, you got it. You got it, Chuck. You got it, you got it. All right, y'all, so yeah, I'm definitely um happy my crabs are still alive, unlike the last time I cooked them. Um, I pretty much buried them in ice this time. I have my uh, little igloo block to keep them, you know, active and lively. Whoa, whoa, calm down, calm down. So what I'm gonna have to do now is cover them in ice for about an hour. Make sure I keep my cooler drain plug out so it can drain out the water. I don't want to drown my crabs to keep them alive. We're gonna put them in a hibernated state to rip their heads off and cut out the, the gills. See you in the kitchen. I'll be looking better too. There you go. All right, y'all, so I'm back at home, back in my kitchen. I hope you enjoyed the first segment of the episode, the catch. Welcome to the best part, the clean and cook. And I say the best part because I'm doing something I've never done before. I'm gonna attempt to clean live crabs. All right, that's right, y'all. Last time I just threw the crabs in whole. Don't have to worry about no fuss and buzz. This time I kept my crabs alive with a different method. I'm using ice igloo blocks so I don't drown my crabs by putting them on ice itself. Um, I just put them on ice now, as y'all saw in the previous clip, to kind of put them to sleep. So now this will be all lethargic as um, I try to dispatch them. Now I have never cleaned live crabs before, y'all. So I did what everybody does. I went to YouTube to see how to do it. It seems simple enough. I think I can do it. You know, I'm a man, I'm a G, I got this, I got this. And we'll see how it goes, man. Something else that I wanna try um, every time I do my crab and cook episodes with crabs is to cook them differently, right? So last time I did them whole, this time I wanna clean them before I cook them. Um, you know, some people prefer the crab butter 
aka crab mustard, aka guts. It's just guts, y'all. It's not crab fat. Um, it's, a, it's an acquired taste, you know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't say whether or not I like it or dislike it. So the only way I can test it out is let me clean my crabs out great, then cook them and see if I like the difference. Oh yeah, in the feature, also boiling them versus steaming. I know people in Maryland steam, I don't know. I tried to steam some snow crabs before. I thought they were, it's not the same, man. Just boiled seems better, but we'll try that on another episode. As of now, let me show you what I'm gonna throw in my pot. We're gonna get it done, I'm, I'm confident. Let's go. All right, y'all, so let me show you everything I'll be using today to do my boil. I'll be using my waterproof gloves that y'all saw me out on the field to help dispatch the crabs. Got my favorite corn, of course. Um, I got this little scooper thing. When I put my corns and potatoes in, it's, it's, it's hell trying to get them out with some tongs. So I'm just gonna use that to scoop it. Um, got my petite gold potatoes instead of red. I'm gonna try this. I seen another YouTuber put these in here, little smoky sausages. I wanna say the YouTuber name was Tug Trash Outdoors. Tug Trash Outdoors, if that wasn't you, still shout out, man, you got a cool channel. Um, we're gonna do a little garlic salt. We got the Louisiana crab and shrimp boil syrup. I got my favorite Louisiana crawfish seasoning. That's all you gotta do, bro. This right here is all you really need. I'm gonna put a few lemons in there to squeeze that in there. I'm gonna throw an onion in there as well. I've seen some other people do it. Of course, we got our little crab utensils here. Now, um, you're probably wondering what this toothbrush is for. There's another YouTube couple that I love watching. I'm addicted to it. They call it Old Couple Outdoors. Old Couple Outdoors. They do a lot of crabbing together. It's, it's an old couple that, that's outdoors. And one of the tricks that they use is a toothbrush to clean the interior of this crab. So I'm gonna try that as well. Got my little knife, scissors, do my onions. So yeah, man, this is all that we need for a boil. Nothing too complex, but simple enough that it's gonna be delicious. Cute. All right, y'all, so I know this is um, what everybody has been waiting for. Me trying to clean live crabs for the very first time. Yeah, if y'all know me, this might not end well. So let's get our crabs. I'll try to at least demonstrate one of them. So like I said, my boy right here is still alive. I caught these crabs between 7 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. this morning. Um, they've been on ice for maybe like an hour, hour and a half. Um, a lot of people say you want to definitely keep your crab alive when you cook them. I'm not sure even if you put them on ice, you know, how long they are good for, but we'll see. <clears throat> All right, so here's the start of our show, Mr. Krabby. All right, hold on, let me get some proper lighting. There we go. Now, the first thing we want to do is we have this apron thing right here, right? Now I have this, which is a pumpkin carver. I'm just curious to see if it works. I heard some people say like you can actually use their own, what is this, legs to do so, but I wanna try the pumpkin carver. So we're gonna take off. Okay, let's see. okay, that works, there we go, oh. Okay, so pumpkin carver does work. See that? Now if you squeamish, you may wanna look away. So let me try this bigger pumpkin carver. They say taking off the apron first makes it a little bit easier to take off the top of the head. So we'll do that. All right, next what we're gonna do is turn around the crab. We're gonna grab the legs as so, like that, right? And we're gonna pop the top. I'm sorry, buddy. I know you're gonna be delicious. And you can tell it's gonna be worth it. All right. So once again, we have the legs here, right? And the claws. And allegedly, I should be able just to pull the head off as so. The most humane way to do it. So we'll find out. So pop the top. Don't want to tear my legs up. Okay, first thing I'm noticing, it's a little bit harder than I thought. I'm worried about my the legs coming off and not the head. Oh, let me angle up. I seen the old couple outdoors, they kind of put it on the side of the sink to get some leverage and just kind of, ah, there we go. And that's it. That is it. So next, what we're gonna do, hold on. All right, so after you pop the top, 
I want to take off the face right here. His paw just, just lost the claw. It's all right. Lost the claw. Still good though, still good though. All right, so next we have the gills, as you can see here, right? These are the gills. Let's use a spoon to scrape the gills off. Just like that. All right, so the gills are now scraped off right there. Okay. So next, like I say, the interior part right here, people refer to that as crab butter, uh, crab mustard, guts. You know, it's a preferred taste. I'm not sure if I prefer it, but what we're gonna do, get started, is kind of rinse it out. Now, if you see the crab still moving, that's just nerves at this point. So once again, y'all, like I say, Old Cup Outdoors, what they use is a toothbrush to be able to um, clean out the crab, the interior. So let's just try to see if it works. Oh, okay. Nice. You know what? Like a charm. Like an absolute charm. Get them guts out. Yeah, I'm really excited that this is working out so well. I mean, I did lose a leg, but that leg is still edible. So we'll see. Get the guts. And that's it. And just like that, y'all, you have a pretty white, fresh, clean crab. It's really that simple. So now we don't have all that guts and all the other stuff and crab butter. Mm -mm. We just got fresh crab meat and that's it. All right, y'all, so I have um, about 15 more to go of this. <laughs> so yeah, you gotta be careful because even though, like I said, the nerves are moving, them bad boys can still get you. So 15 more to go, we'll throw it in a bucket. I'll, I won't, I'll, I'll spare you seeing me do this 15 times. And um, yeah, we'll meet you at the pot. Yeah. All right, y'all, so I wanted to show you the finished product. This is about, I don't know, this is about 15, 15, to 15 to 20 pounds of fresh crab. I'm not gonna lie, man. After cleaning all those crab, it took me about 30 minutes. Seeing all the stuff that was coming out of it, I think I prefer cleaning them <laughs> versus just throwing them in whole. So we'll see, man. Um, game changer for sure. Toothbrush, man. Using a toothbrush to scrub all the interiors out. Look how clean it gets. Sorry about that. So yeah, toothbrush for sure. Let's go start throwing these in the pot. And yeah, I'm gonna grub. You. Yeah. All right, y'all. So we have our 16 crab nice and clean. Let's start working on our pot. We need to go into the pot. So what we're gonna do is first of all, throw a couple of sticks. Well, these are half sticks. So you can definitely say one stick of butter into the pot. Bought a new, I think it's a 32 quart pot. Cause you know, I'm doing a lot of crabbing. So I need some bigger pots. Like they say, we're gonna need a bigger boat. All right. Yeah, I bought this pot at Kroger's. It comes with a 32 inch, 30, 32 quart um, pot and another 10 quart pot, two of them. It's on sale for like $54.99 right now. But yeah, the, the other one was just too small. So we're gonna throw one stick of butter or if you do two half sticks for step one. Next, put a little garlic salt, just a tad. Remember, the Louisiana season is where the majority of our flavor is going to be coming from, our flavor profile. We're going to put some of this Louisiana concentrate crawfish crab boil. They say you're supposed to go light on this. You know, I'm from Texas, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can already feel my sinuses opening up. All right. Next, go some, some lemons in there. So we'll go real quick right there. I have a sque squeezer, you know what I'm saying? I'm fancy like that. <clears throat> there we 
go. And we're just gonna throw the whole thing in there too. So we got three lemons. Ouch. All right, I'm trying to hurry up. It's getting late. It's already 11 o'clock at night. Like I said, my day started. I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning to start getting ready for this crab boil, catch and cook. Two. All right, one more lemon. I don't know if you gotta throw the whole lemon in there after you squeeze it, but you know, to each his own. Couldn't hurt. <clears throat> I'm not gonna drop my lemon in it like I did last time. Learn my lesson from that. One more. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, I got that. Got our lemon. Next, the star of the show, Louisiana Crawfish Bowl. Okay, see here. I'm not sure how much you're supposed to, <laughs> supposed to use, but I'll just put the whole thing in there, to be honest with you. There we go. One of those. All right, so we got the Louisiana Crawfish Bowl. Gonna throw an onion in there too, just for show. Onion for flavor. I mean, who doesn't like onions? Crazy people. Crazy people don't like onions. That's that's the answer to that question. So we're just gonna dice them up. Like that. Put that in there. Yeah, now we cooking, baby. <coughs> oh my God. <coughs> All right, y'all, so, <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. All right, so the last time I cooked crab whole, I looked online and when you Google, how long do you cook crab online? It says 20 minutes. I'm part of like some Facebook groups about crabbing. Yeah, I'm serious about it, right? And I asked like, how long do you boil your crab for? There's so many different answers to this question on how long you should boil your crab for. Some people would like five minutes, some people would like eight minutes, 15 minutes until it turns red. Some people are like, oh, you know, eight minutes, then throw some ice buckets or ice jugs into it. So with multiple answers, I'm going with the median. It seems like eight minutes, right, is the go-to. I'm sorry, y'all, this season is, ain't no joke. So we'll boil them for eight minutes, then we'll let them soak. We'll let them soak for 22 minutes, I'm dying. I'm literally dying right now. Okay, there we go. All right, one onion, check. So we got a butter, concentrate, seasoning. Next up, potatoes. Think about potatoes, petite potatoes, about 12 minutes. So with that being said, if I'm gonna do my crab at eight, potatoes at 12, I need to set a timer for four minutes to know when to put the crab in. My corn is normally about five minutes. There we go. Bet. Set a timer, four minutes. There we go. All right, <clears throat> after that, the only thing we have left is to add our corn last, our crab for eight minutes, and <clears throat> these little smoky sausages. How long do you cook these for? They're already cooked technically because they're smoked, huh? Fully cooked. I guess long enough to, we'll put it in with the crab for about eight minutes. All right, I'll be back. I need to get some water. <laughs> All right, y'all. So it's been about four minutes, so now, oh my God. <clears throat> so, 
So now we can put our crab in, our sausage, and our corn. So let's put the sausage in. Oh, okay, don't want to get burnt. <clears throat> Next we'll put star to show and crabs. Oh man, it's weird because they're still like twitching, but once again, y'all, there's nerves, they're not alive. Once you dispatch that head, it's instant. The good thing is, like I said, it really lethargic from the ice bath. I was really thinking about like how long should I, you know, soak them in ice because you don't want to keep them ice out there on the field. If you do, you want to make sure you put like a cloth over your ice and set your crabs on top of that. Make sure your cooler spout is open so the water drains because you don't want to drown your, cra your crab. This is a lot of crab. <laughs> I'm excited, man. This is gonna be so good. I know it. I know it. Oh, my arm. Yo, it's a lot of work being a YouTuber. Imagine when you go fishing and crabbing, how much work it is. Imagine doing all that stuff you do and now to get video of everything you do then come home and do more video. But you know what? I love it though. I really do love it. Love being a YouTuber. Content creator, as I like to call myself. All right, y'all. There we go. That is 16 keeper crab. We got a lot of corn. So let's go and put our corn in. And we just want to hope to get this to a... <coughs> a roaring bowl of boil <clears throat> okay oh man that's crazy boy that's seasoning i mean realistically y'all that concentrate syrup you post probably like maybe a couple of tablespoons i did like a quarter of a cup that louisiana seasoning for something this big probably post like half a bag i did an entire bag yolo i don't care all right we almost done got about eight corn in here. Let's snap them in half. Oh my God. Done. Oh man, that's so much work. Let me see if I can give y'all a better look. Hold on. All right. My camera here. Oh, hold on. All right, y'all, so that is everything in there. Nice. Believe it or not, there's crab under there with some potatoes and sausages and all that other good stuff. All right, cool. Let's turn up. Start our timer. Is that hot right now? For eight minutes. Then we'll let it soak for 22, apparently. All right. We'll let it boil for eight minutes, okay? Once we let it boil for eight minutes, we're gonna let it seep and soak and all that seasoning goodness for about 22 minutes. Make it even 30 minutes. Yeah, that sounds good, right? If all goes well, we should have a really good money shot. If not, then um, I did all this for nothing. I'll see you at the money shot, y'all. Peace. All right, y'all, so it is time for my favorite part of the episode, the taste test. Y'all see this right here? This represents 18 hours of work today. Let's see if it's worth it. Get a little butter here. All right, here we go, here we go. Man. Ooh, it's like food porn. All right, hold on, hold on. Mm. Yes, Lord. Won't he do it? 
Oh, it was worth it. It was absolutely worth it. Another thing is that I think I'm definitely team clean crab before you cook it. I mean, it just that meat just ready to get dove into, no guts, no glory. Yeah, I'm, I'm all for it, man. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, still give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Comment below your favorite part of the video. And also, man, if you wanna see me go on some more fishing adventures, crabbing adventures, when the winter comes, I'll be taking some camping adventures. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, man. It's going down, boy, this is about to go down. Once again, my name is Raynell Roy, AKA Fishing Trips. It's been real, y'all. I'm out. <laughs>